Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. I'm Venus from Hearts Desire by Venus. And today I am working on um, a bunch of junk journals. And I'm just trying to use up supplies that I have got. Now, all of us have these. They're little card packs. I'm sure you've all gotten from when we were making cards. They come with a card and envelope set. And probably hoarded all of these in every color under the sun. So today what I'm doing is I am turning those into pockets for the front covers, the inside front covers of my uh, journals that I'm working on. You can see right there I have two pockets and I use those for it. So this is what I've done. Um, I went through my stash. I'm, I'm mass producing here because I've just got so many of these. So I went through my stash and found some nice colors. I inked them all up just so that uh, they uh, looked a little aged, not as fresh looking, because I don't want it to be so crisp on my books. So I fold them half and I just inked the front half here, okay? And then what I'm doing is, is this is a six by six, um, craft pack. I mean, six by six pad. We've all got a ton of them. I'm sure. Again, I'm trying to use stuff out of my stash here. So that is what I've got. So what I have done is, is I have cut the pages down to fit the front of my card with a little bit of spacing around here. You can see I've left like an eighth of an inch around each side. Easy peasy. And what I've done is, is I'm cutting one patterned and one print or one <laughs> one patterned and one basically you know just a a plain my paper pack seems to alternate so this is what I've come up with to utilize these the most so I cut it down to match so now what I'm going to do is is I'm just going to put a piece of tape move this out of the way a piece of tape just down the middle because I am going to stitch on here. If you were not going to stitch around this pocket, um, then uh, ooh, I'm going to tape the top though. <laughs> if you're not going to stitch around the pocket or to make this a pocket, then glue it really well. Um, but I'm going to stitch. So I'm just running a thing of tape along the top side because uh, that part I'm obviously not going to stitch closed. But the rest of it, and I'm just going to mat the front here so it's you know it's looking like a card folds on the bottom because we're going to turn it into a pocket and then i'm going to just take my whole punch my whole punch my circle punch here this is a one and three eighths but you could do whatever size you don't even have to do this if you don't want to um but i want a little bit of a a thing here so that there we go so that it's very clear that that is a uh pocket so perfect. And I'm just inking up my paper that's going on here as well. I could have done it before I put it on, but there we go. And so now for this one, I've got the pattern here, the pattern paper, sorry, the plain option. I'm having my words all mixed up. So I'm just going to ink this one up and the same thing. I'm going to tape at the top or you could glue it however you want to go. And I'm just doing one part way down just to hold it till I stitch it. It's as simple as that. Okay. So then, oh, sorry if you hear my son in the background, he's online playing video games with his friends, believe it or not, from the kid two doors down, but uh, they're having fun. So I'll try and excuse them. So we're going to mat it again. You fold at the bottom because we're turning this into a pocket. So I'm just going to mat it. And then what I did is these were the off cuts. Um, see there? That's the piece that I had to cut off of the top of this. So all I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take my little curvy ruler here and uh, just peel that off. Roll that little piece away. Actually, I'm not. It's in my pile of things to save and use. 
And I'm just going to ink this up around. And again, you can glue this or tape it. It's totally up to you. And I'm just going to mat it. Oh, I have to cut it down to fit though. Hold on here. There, cut it down to fit. And I'm just going to mat it on top of the uh, plain part. And that way I'm A, using my off cut, but B, <clears throat> they kind of look like they go together then. And I think it just looks cool. So now I'm gonna punch the circle. Um, because I am going to stack these with each other, I'm just going to lay the one down inside here and draw a line around so that I can make sure if I could find my pencil. There it is. Make sure that I punch the hole in the same spot so it doesn't look funny. I'm going to just punch that half circle out and ink up that edge. Oops. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch on the three sides of both of these and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've stitched around them. As you can see, I just did some quick stitching around the three sides so that I've made it a pocket. So now I'm going to put these in my book. Um, and I'm going to glue and tape. You know me, I like to do both. Make sure it's nice and secure. So I'm just going to go around the edges and then once in the middle and then I will glue in the empty spots. So I'm just gonna do this. And I just thought this was great use. I've got packs and packs of these cards and envelopes. I'll do something with the envelopes later but I just thought this makes super quick pockets and it's using up my supplies. So I'm just gonna get one of my books here and this one in particular. So I'm mad against here because I've made the journals and you know, I've stitched on here, move that out of the way. I've stitched on here and uh, it kind of makes a bit of a messy front to be honest with all the stitching. I like the stitching on the outside, but so I thought this is a way to cover that up as well as uh, use up my supplies and make a functional pocket. So I'm just gonna tear off my tape here and get that going here. See if I can get this up and I'm going to use what do I want top or bottom I'm going to use it in the bottom so now I'm just going to glue got my fabric tack here and I'm just gluing in the spots where I didn't tape oh I'm almost out of glue let's try the other bottle that one's not going too well let's try this one there we go, got some glue. Okay. So now all I'm doing is just matting it to the inside here, making sure I stay within my zones. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my other pocket. So I'm just giving a double pocket to the inside cover which is always handy. You can put all your ephemera in there or notes or whatever you would like just on the inside cover. I kind of like doing it because it's kind of flat to this. So it's not going to be a huge amount of bulk to the cover, but it does add some interest. I always like to add something to the inside cover besides just being naked plain. Um, that's kind of boring, I think anyways. So glue that up. All right, and now I'm just going to position this one on here as well. Get it in there. And look at that. 
Now you have got a double pocket, simple double pocket on the inside of your journal cover. And you've used up supplies out of your stash. Isn't that awesome? I thought that was great. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see what other things I come up to. In the next few videos, I'm trying to, as well as I'm working on that Vintage Circus lap book, um, my other videos, I am trying to use up stuff out of my stash and do a little bit of mass um, creating as well so that uh, I'm ahead of the game, in theory. Um, so don't forget to uh, follow along and see what we're up to. I'm going to have these done before too long, and then I will post a flip through of the journals. But hopefully this helps you and you use up some of the things out of your stash. Have yourself a great day.